Okay, we're going to make colonial silver today. What we're going to do is go to presets on this and get the colloidal silver thing. That's set up, okay. Uh, well, let me see. First of all, we did this. All right, uh, we have um, 800 volume. That's pretty much what we have right there. All right, and what we're going to be doing is 30 parts per million. All right, we got uh, 2 milliamps, 0.2 milliamps, I should say. The duration in minutes is 1800. All right, well, which is basically 30 hours. Well, what we're going to have to do here is uh, go to uh, the programs and the dwell multiplier. We're going to alter that. What was that, 1800? 1800, you see that down there? That way when we go to control, yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, here we go. There's your dwell. This is going to take 30 hours. It's going to take better than a day to do. Okay, so what we do here is we just go down and waveform spooky 2 is running and as we speak we uh, we've started the process the two silver rods in there um, are connected up to uh, uh, this uh, uh, frequency generator and uh, this is going to be running for 30 hours the reason for that is we want to uh, to get the best possible stuff out of this. There's essentially the waveform from beginning to end and uh, what's going to happen is it's going to build an amplitude until it gets to a point and then it's going to drop down. This way you're going to get uh, some pretty good stuff. Uh, this is going to be nanoparticles in here. Uh, before I was uh, happy with microns but we're talking um, um, a grain of rice compared to a boulder there's a mega difference there uh, um, a nanoparticle is a thousand times smaller than a micron and a micron is pretty damn small micron possible to get airborne um, uh, nanoparticles yeah <laughs> they will too and unless it's in a solution of water or something like that nanoparticles are pretty dangerous they'll, they'll stay airborne they'll go through anything which is what we want this stuff to do we want this stuff we want this stuff to go, uh, you know, right into to the cellular, cellular level, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to let this thing go for about 30 hours and uh, going to do a few tests on it. Um, one other thing, i got to set this thing up. Hold on a second. Okay, this is awfully crowded in here. What are you going to do? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this sucker on. Okay, you see that? You don't need that kind of speed out of it, but that'll do just nicely. <coughs> we want to keep this thing uh, 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 moaning. Uh, uh, we, we want this stirred every hour, okay? Since I'm not going to come down here every hour for 30 hours, you know, just so I can stir this thing around a little bit, uh, I have this uh, magnetic stir taking care of this for me. And uh, it's going to do this nicely. It's going to handle the job. That's all we really need. And this is a, a set it and forget it system. Um, but like I say, it takes takes a long time to do this. <coughs> I was calculating a uh, thousand uh, parts per million uh, to do a volume like this. It probably uh, you know what take me a week. Uh, yeah, there's uh, it's time involved. There's a lot of stuff to it, but this stuff works. Uh, what could I say? This this stuff really does work. And um, a system like this uh, will pay for itself just in the cost of getting this stuff. As you know, colloidal silver is not cheap. But, uh, and I can't tell you what colloidal silver does because, you know, FDA has rules. And there's such idiots about this. Uh, you, could, uh, you could say what uh, uh, colloidal silver does, the benefits, but you can't sell it. You can sell the equipment, you know, if you talk that way. 
But if you're going to be selling the juice, you just can't uh, explain what it does. Go figure. It's the uh, big pharma lock on everything. Um, I'll get back to you in 30 days, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. Um, I ran this thing for 30 hours. Uh, I wasn't so crazy about it. Um, uh, using uh, the laser with it, uh, it just didn't really show up as bright as I'd expect it to. Uh, the total dissolved uh, uh, meter I used, uh, you know, showed five. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. I was shooting for 30. All I got was five. That's kind of ridiculous. So I, um, um, I ran it again, another 30 hours. And uh, I checked everything out. I mean, I was getting the amperage going through. I, you know, it was working. Everything was functioning just the way it ought to be. And, uh, uh, I didn't think much of it. I just waited for another 30 hours, you know. So, uh, technically, when this stuff came out, it was 60%. Not 60%, 60 parts per million, okay. I checked it with the meter, and it comes up 10. Uh, well, twice what it was before, but it showed up as 10 parts per million. Well, after looking into it, uh, that's because uh, the particle size is nano size. Uh, Nano-sized uh, particles just don't occur in nature. It's not considered a, a dissolved solid because it's not a solid. All right? The meter's just not picking it up. All right? It's, it's picking up other things, okay, uh, in the forms of larger particles, maybe nano, or uh, maybe, uh, um, uh, you know, much larger than a nano. Micron size may be slightly larger than micron, but there's a, a lively mix of uh, sizes in here, okay? And, and nano sizes are probably about the smallest, and that's just not going to be picked up with the meter. Um, I'm fairly convinced of that, okay? I, uh, I tried some of this on myself, and i got to tell you, it's, uh, you know, it works pretty good. You know, you get an abrasion or something like that, you put it on there. This thing will heal it. Uh, well, it did for me. That's all I can say. Um, the reason you want a smaller particle size is because uh, that's able to pass through the cell wall. Uh, you're, you're, uh, the smaller the size, the more places it could go. Nothing negative uh, uh, could uh, survive in a, in a silver solution, which is what the point is. All right, And this stuff stays active all through your system until it gets to your lower GI. It's a marvelous way it works. Because you need that bacteria and, and stuff down there in order to you know, function properly. Okay, so it stops before that. But anything before that is just excellent. Um, uh, the reason I'm not going into too much detail about what this stuff could do and how it works, you know, is basically because, uh, you know, uh, there's two ways you could do it. You could, you know, you could see that beam, you know. It, it, it's impressive, but for 60 parts per million, nah. Should be a lot more than that. All right. But I'll probably end up selling some of this stuff. I know it takes a long time to do. And I know, uh, you know, if you go to the health food store, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. All right. Um, yeah. Hey, if you're interested in buying some of this, hit me up. Thanks for watching.